Welcome friends, let's solve this system using elimination. So x squared minus 2y equals 8 and x squared plus 5y equals negative 6. Important observation, notice that both of these have a positive x squared. So that's not helpful because if when you add them, you just have this, right? If you did x squared from one plus the x squared from the other, that would just give you 2x squared, you see? In other words, if you just added the equations directly, corresponding terms, you would have 2x squared and then negative 2y plus 5y is a positive 3y and then 8 plus negative 6 essentially would give you a positive 2. So this is not useful because this contains still x and y. So no progress. So what you want to do then is just multiply one of the equations by negative 1. Just one of them. It doesn't matter which one essentially. So multiply the top equation by negative 1. You're going to have x squared minus 2y is equal to 8. Oops. Minus 2y is equal to 8 change the sign so it's going to give you negative x squared plus 2y is e equal to negative 8. Now add the bottom equation to it which is x squared plus 5y is equal to negative 6. That's allowed. So all I'm doing is again just go and add straight down term by term. So when I do that here uh, sometimes we draw like a little line to indicate we're doing that. Okay let me kind of separate the work right. So this wasn't useful but this is. So negative x squared plus x squared is 0. It's gone. 2y plus uh, 5y is 7y, that's useful. Only one variable remains. Negative 6 plus negative 8 is negative 14. So now divide by 7, so like this, 7y divided by 7 is equal to negative 14 divided by 7 this way, so you end up with y being equal to negative 2. Once you know y is equal to negative 2, then you just solve for the corresponding value of x. So using one of these equations, so for example, let's use the top equation. We're going to have x squared minus 2 times the value of y, which is negative 2. This is equal to 8. So this y I'm just replacing with negative 2. So I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 8, and then it's going to give me here, let's see, so x squared is equal to 8 minus 4. All right, so then, then I will have x squared is equal to 8 minus 4, which is 4, and then I just take square roots like this on both sides. Remember the plus and minus on that side. So x is equal to plus 2, or x is equal to negative 2. That tells us something important. That tells us that what are all the points that solve the system, so points. Well negative 2 for x corresponds to negative 2 for y that's one point and the other one is positive 2 for x also corresponds to the same negative 2 as shown here so there are two points that solve the system and this is how you can think about solving this if it's helpful leave a like